In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use Esri's ArcGIS background maps in IcoMap Pro for Power BI. So, as Esri is a third party service, the first thing we have to do is provide our ArcGIS developer key. You can see it here in the Esri section under the API keys option in the formatting section of IcoMap Pro. Once we've applied that, we're then able to go back up to the background layer options and map source and change that to be Esri. Once we're in here, you'll see that we've got three different ArcGIS tiles types for uh, selecting our background maps. We've got ArcGIS, we've got OpenStreetMap provided through ArcGIS, and then we've got Custom Style, where if you have your own style of background map in um, ArcGIS, then you can provide the item ID here and use those custom styles inside of IcoMap Pro. But let's start off by walking through the ArcGIS options here. So I'm going to just quickly show the different map styles. So we've got outdoor. Let me zoom right in so we can see what that looks like. All the way down to building level. So we've got outdoor. We've got community. We've got navigation. We've got streets. Streets relief. Imagery for satellite mapping. Oceans. Let me zoom back out again. Uh, topographic, probably need to go back in a bit further for that, for the hill shading. There's light grey, there's dark grey, there's human geography, charter territory, and Nova. Let's switch to OpenStreetMap via ArcGIS. And you'll see that we have a number of different styles here. We've got standard. We've got navigation, streets, and blueprint. You'll also notice that, let me move over to other parts of the world, we have the option of choosing the language that our map labels appear in. So I can switch between different language options in here and hopefully you'll see that the language of map labels changes. Let's go back to English. Yeah. 